Looking back along the riverside that we were on before. Hopefully these are all old buildings. Hmm. And there of course our needle dam. Interesting, this span made out of wood. So here we get another telephoto shot at some of the, or a couple of the buildings on the hook side. Probably a hotel. This one we've seen several times. No idea what it is. Probably the same. Notice there's a funicular up to that building. Apparently here we're encountering for the first time the wall system. Certainly looks formidable enough. I wonder what the little holes are in some of those stones. It is our access. This certainly looks authentic, doesn't it? Up here, diagram of the towers. I don't know what the black lines represent. The river down below and some cows grazing. We walk up these steep steps along the outside of the walls. Notice the irregular shaped firing slot. And here underneath this first defensive tower. And there are nine apparently for this wall. There's an entrance to this tower. Let's go inside. Here at the ground level. Better look at those fiery ports. Notice the graffiti has been carved in. You wonder what the oldest might be. There's 1920 something or other. And upstairs we go. Next level. And here, cannon firing ports filled in for modern purposes. Same thing here. And here it looks like a small balcony existed for what reason I can't imagine. Here we are at the top of the tower. With a couple of higher positions We'll just climb up, take a look inside. Interesting. Was that a floor? Or a partial floor? Looking back down the wall. Not a very large wall. Notice the walkway to the left for soldiers. Notice the homes. Wow, I didn't realize Zurich was so surrounded by the mountains, mainly because of the clouds. On this rainy day, I couldn't see it. What a lovely place to live, like Jackson. It's interesting that that roof has, looks like three levels in it. Spur Bridge, our Needle Dam. Okay. 
I wonder if this scalloping on the walls had any function, like to keep people from being able to climb vertically up it. Okay. Okay. This tower is the prettiest of them so far. There's another one of the more beautiful terry towers. We can certainly rain down a lot of destruction. Each one of those portholes up there at a different elevation represents another floor. And here we see the remaining towers. I don't know what this large building is, but it looks pretty, particularly that cupola sitting up on the front. Well, you can't appreciate the colors in this kind of weather. But you can't win them all. That's better. It's an interesting structure. So from this building that I've climbed up to, I can Swing the camera down to the panorama, whatever that is. I may even have it in my notes. We'll find out in a moment. Of course, in that swing by, I noticed the double spired church over there. This is known as the Weeping Lion. Mark Twain went here, was reputed to have said it's the most mournful statue of a lion in the world. Which is no slouch of a comment when you think of all of the different cultures that use the lion as an icon. Egypt, all of them. Right beneath the spires of this church. <laughs>